Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to do a part two follow up on all this Gail King Snoop Dogg drama. So we had a really interesting discussion this weekend on social media. I had posted on my Instagram page um, how I felt about the continual talk and dragging of Gail King and also black women being drugged and put into a box and being made to look like, you know, all black women are against black men and everything else. So what happened this weekend is this. OK, and this has led into like a really important discussion after Gail King had posted um, her response to Snoop Dogg and many other people who are mad at her Snoop Dogg replied back on her post and he says bitch you knew what you was doing stop playing dumb fuck your bosses your network and your executives you know heart having gutless bitch how dare you try and tarnish my friend's name you and Oprah been found now you bitches on the free throw line we don't want y'all hoes y'all not with us is meaning us so fuck y'all and he had over like 8,000 likes and things like that and um so that was kind of rubbing people the wrong way because we're like, okay, well, Snoop, you need to calm down and let it go. We understand that Kobe's your friend, but you're like literally dragging this on. So Mark Lamont Hill got involved and he says the word for today is nuance. You can have a critique of Gail King, though folks should actually watch the whole interview and hold Snoop Dogg accountable for his misogynistic ways of how he engaged with her. So then you had some people going off on him. And then he replied back and he said, shout out to all the girls' dads from last week who are now trying to justify calling Gail King a funky dog face bitch. I see you. So that didn't sit well with a lot of people. And then Charlemagne posted this um, over the weekend. He says, just a reminder, black women are not your enemy. So then Snoop Dogg replies back and he says, we know that the ones in power have a funny way of showing it. Not all, just a few. But now they know how we feel. Now we carry on, Charlemagne. So then people started going at Snoop like, dude, you're doing a bit too much. You know what I'm saying? You already low key threatened this woman. Now you're going from platform to platform like you're doing a bit too much, bruh. So then he decided to take to social media and explain his side of the story and basically backtrack and say that he didn't threaten her. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Tops, what up, though? This big Snoop Dogg. Here's a message for the people that need to know. I'm a nonviolent person. When I said what I said, I spoke for the people who felt like Gail was very disrespectful towards Kobe Bryant and his family. Now, with that being said, what I look like wants some harm to come to a 70-year-old woman. I was raised way better than that. I didn't want no harm to come to her and didn't threaten her. All I did was say, check it out. You out of pocket for what you're doing and we watching you. Have a little bit more respect for Vanessa, her babies, and Kobe Bryant's legacy. Yeah. But anyway... I'm going to do what I got to keep doing. Y'all keep doing what y'all doing. We're very nonviolent. We just want to say that first and foremost. We speak from the heart. Some of you who have no heart don't understand that. But anyway, carry on and enjoy your day. All right, so you guys just heard what Snoop Dogg had to say. So now my initial video, I caught that out. Everybody's allowed to have their opinion of the situation. I do not agree with Snoop Dogg, you know, low-key threatening a woman. You know, people were pointing that out. I don't agree with that. And at the end of the day, of course, him and many black men are going to be vocal about this because they've been dragging Oprah and Gail for a while for how they keep, you know, putting black men on blast and Oprah doing the whole Russell Simmons documentary. You know, like I said, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but I'm not down with people threatening people because you guys see this shit happen to me. You guys saw me getting attacked for simply posting a story this weekend. And then here come all these barbs in my DM sending me threats, cussing me out and everything else about a story about Nicki Minaj, who now other blogs are also talking about. So I would never agree with people being threatened for putting information out there or for asking a question for doing their journalistic job. Now, I definitely believe in holding people accountable. And when they're wrong, I definitely believe in calling people out. Gail King, to me, in that instance, was wrong. 
and I broke down why I thought she was wrong. I pointed out the parts where Gail was doing a bit too much. But with that being said, there's never any need to threaten anybody because we've all made mistakes, including Snoop Dogg. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what I had posted on Instagram yesterday morning. So I wrote yesterday, this morning Snoop Dogg clarified his message to Gail King. Afterwards, he took to Instagram to respond to Charlemagne the God's post about black women not being the enemy. Then I go on to say, my thing is this. Was Gail King wrong? Absolutely. It's okay to question people's motives and hold them accountable. But I will never agree with people sending threats and making her fear for her life. It's never that serious. Especially being that most of the people who are making these threats towards her life didn't even know Kobe personally. So let's keep that real. My thing is this, why is Snoop Dogg going so hard on this particular topic? It's been three days and he's still ranting. I've seen many black men disrespect black women and Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, and many other high-profile black men are quiet as church mouses. Snoop's own daughter was crying about colorism all over national television and Snoop was quiet. If you're going to be the voice for the people, then call out wrong on all fronts the same way I do. It shouldn't matter the gender, the race, or the person's economic status. I'm tired of this picking and choosing of who people want to drag attack and threaten but then when other people do the same messed up shit it's crickets keep the same energy across the board what's good for the goose is good for the gander i'm noticing a lot of people are now using gail king's mistake as a way to low-key demonize all black women and i'm not feeling that snoop dogg and his hip-hop homies were quiet as hell when latina selena power was dragging his ass and telling all his business and disrespecting his black wife at this point the way he's carrying on and on i like is someone trying to deflect from his so-called show clout chasers never hearing any thoughts so you know it was a lot of conversation you know a lot of debate back and forth but that's how i feel i feel like at this point it's starting to be a bit much okay now, some people feel like Gil King and Oprah, they're basically using the white media to now portray themselves as victims. And that could be a possibility. But that does not negate the things that Snoop Dogg said. Because after his Instagram post went viral, I saw the comments for myself of people threatening that woman, talking about whooping her ass and everything else. And it's never that serious. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys two news clips here. You guys go ahead and check this out because now it's mainstream. Now you have the Joe Scarsbury show talking about about this Reverend Al Sharpton getting involved so this entire situation is getting really crazy y'all go ahead and check this out call me soft or sell out whatever you want to call me but I'm gonna stand up for Gail King on this one she doesn't deserve that you know God bless you Reverend Al for uh, defending a black female journalist who had her life threatened on Instagram and who was called uh, just uh, ex- extraordinarily foul uh, things. Uh, but let me ask you this question, because, w- you know, we didn't hear, it happened on Thursday. We didn't hear about it until Saturday. We were asking friends about it on Sunday, and they had not heard that it had happened either. Why has there been this media blackout about this? Why, why aren't the New York Times and the Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal and all these people that rightly get offended when Donald Trump attacks a journalist, why are they remaining silent now? And more importantly, why are you one of the few civil rights leaders? Well, or prominent well, black let me, figures let me, let me say this, stood Joe. up and spoke spoken out. That that is one of the reasons I wanted to speak out, because I don't want it to be acceptable in the media that a Gail King who had to achieve uh, so much uh, can be just it is permitted to do that. And I want to say when when uh, Snoop Dogg has had conversations and has uh, said, wait a minute, I didn't mean it that way or, or whatever he's saying. And I understand that uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Eric Dyson, who did speak up and Van Jones has been trying to let's sit down and talk and that Snoop Dogg said, let's talk. But I think that the basis of the talk is to first say what is unacceptable. We can talk all night long, but we can never rationalize threats and rationalize misogyny. Now, the conversation can start from there. And I understand playing to your, to the crowd. I understand playing to, to, to your base community. But you lift them. You do not muddy them. Because when you muddy a Gail King, you're saying to our young daughters in the black community that you can't rise to excellence. She's at the top of her game, and nobody helped her get there. And we cannot scar that, even though we may disagree with some of her judgment let's not desecrate who she is 
And again, the media silence has been deafening. People, I'll just say it, like Katy Perry, who worked with Snoop in the past. Uh, people like our, our dear friend uh, Martha Stewart, who's working with him now. Well, Viacom CBS has a, a show on well, VH1. It's VH1. Will it be renewed? I mean, this, no? this is, this is, this is, uh, it's time Anyone for people to actually speak out. Again, I just, again, let's, let's just keep this very simple because it is very simple. A black female journalist asked a tough question in the middle of a wide-ranging interview. And because of that, her life was threatened. Quote, we're coming to get you from a man, it must be remembered, who was arrested for murder. Arrested we're, 11 times. Uh, uh, we're coming to get you. And the New York Times doesn't write an editorial about this. The Washington Post doesn't write an editorial about this. The Wall Street Journal doesn't write an editorial about this. Nobody talks about this. I will say one person who did... Susan Rice. Oh, she, she said, yeah. I cannot. Yeah. I don't she know if we said, repeat, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll say repeat part of it. She, she said, said, yeah. Back the blank yep. off. Yep. And by the way, that's one person who stood up yeah. for a black female journalist who, like Reverend Al said, we can't even begin it. All right, so you guys just saw that. And now, as of today on Twitter, um, basically, there's a new hashtag, hashtag I stand with Gail. So what basically caused that to trend is that uh, there's a CBS Philadelphia anchor. Her name is Janelle Burrell. So she started that hashtag, and a lot of people responded to that hashtag, including Erica Alexander, who played Pam on The Cosby Show. And this is what Erica had to say about the situation. And she wrote this. To be clear, hashtag I stand with Gail. It's not all right to threaten at Gail King or anybody because you don't agree with them. The comments and the videos being played are not okay, but it's not too late to make a different choice. So make a different choice. X O E. Hashtag love takes action. Hashtag I stand with black women. Was Gail King wrong? In my personal opinion, per my breakdown, yes. I just don't think that was a time and place, especially because you're putting another black woman in a position that she shouldn't have been in. It's not Lisa Leslie's job to defend the, the memory or the legacy of Kobe Bryant. So I will stand by that. But like I said in my original video, no one has the right to threaten her because of what she did, period, point blank. So this whole situation has just gotten really ugly. And I think it's just really sad because, again, now it's snowballed into a whole black women aren't shit. Black women are always trying to take down black men. And it's like, why do we get lumped in that? OK, I'm one of the few black women who takes up for black men and different issues and things like that. And who hold people accountable when they need to be held accountable, regardless of their race, their gender. And that's my issue is that I see that some black men, especially in hip hop, are quick to come together like Voltron and tear down who they want to tear down but then when their own black men in the media in hip hop fuck up it's crickets when T.I. was being held accountable for embarrassing his daughter, none of these men spoke out. They all stood in solidarity with T.I. You know what I'm saying? Nobody called him out. It was business as usual, even though a lot of women were very upset as T.I. talking about his daughter's hymen. You know what I'm saying? None of them spoke out about that. They were all quiet. But now it's like these same men in hip hop have all come together to not only demonize Gayle King, but I'm seeing people now demonizing black women in general. And that's not OK. You know, all all of this stuff is just creating a really toxic environment, especially being that, you know, poor Kobe Bryant's wife. She's simply trying to mourn. You know, she's simply trying to figure out life and go on. Today, about an hour ago, this is what Vanessa posted. Vanessa posted and stated this. I've been reluctant to put my feelings into words. My brain refuses to accept that both Kobe and Gigi are gone. I can't process both at the same time. It's like I'm trying to process Kobe being gone, but my body refuses to accept Gigi will never come back to me. It feels wrong. Why should I be able to wake up another day when my baby girl isn't being able to have that opportunity? I'm so mad. She has so much life to live. And then I realized I need to be strong and be here for my three daughters. Mad I'm not with Kobe and Gigi, but thankful that I'm here with Natalia, Bianca, and Capri. I know what I'm feeling is normal. It's part of the grieving process. I just want to share in case there's anyone out there that's experiencing a loss like this. God, I wish they were here and this nightmare would be over. Praying for all the victims of this horrible tragedy. Please continue to pray for us all. 
And I think that is a beautiful message that Vanessa decided to post in the wake of all of this because I think at this point we're losing focus on what really matters. It's not about Snoop. It's not about Gail King's mistake. It's not about, you know, all of this unnecessary drama. At the end of the day, we have nine people who lost their lives to a tragic accident. We have three 13-year-olds who will never be able to live their life to the fullest potential and family members of these children, of these people on board, of the pilot, who are all mourning. And I think that that's what we need to get back to as a society and realize that life is short. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. So instead of wasting your energy threatening Gail King or threatening Snoop Dogg or, you know, going back and forth and arguing, let's cherish life. Let's try and spend more time with our families and our kids and things like that because we never know if we'll be here the very next day. So that's what I want to leave this message with. That's how I want to leave this video. The entire situation is sad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be done with the notification squad. Let me know your thoughts on all of this drama concerning, you know, Kobe and Snoop and, you know, now the mainstream media getting involved. How do you guys feel about everything that has transpired in the past 72 hours? So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.